Good morning, uh, everybody, uh, to the day. I apologize for, for a little bit delay. <laughs> so, very good morning, uh, afternoon and evening for some of you. Very welcome from the Milan Bay and especially from Upul to this uh, retreat. And today we will propose the topic of um, life is practice. So we will be focusing in this topic today. So I hope you, you enjoy the retreat. And yeah, it's the uh, experience of today. We we part, we we part of our daily practice as well, so very welcome. And I give uh, the, I pass the words to, to Upul. Enjoy. Have a nice day. Nice morning, nice afternoon, nice and nice evening. My dear friends, my dear Nilambe friends, and my dear friends in Dhamma. Uh, <coughs> yeah, I'm sorry for sorry for this uh, delay. It was my uh, misunderstandings as everything else. I always misunderstood things. That's why I am still in Nilambe. Anyhow, uh, I hope uh, all of you are doing very well wherever you are and you are fully safe. Also, your families, your relatives, friends, neighbors, colleagues, all are doing very well and all are safe. And here too, even though all the situations are not so good in Sri Lanka, you may know, uh, country is still locked down. And it goes weeks and weeks. And all of you are warmly welcome to this typical Nilambe. You can see it is windy and misty and raining, wet, and all the leeches are warmly happy about you. But unfortunately, they can't uh, touch you virtually. So they need your physical appearance, not virtual appearance. <coughs> Anyway, I'm really glad to have this chance to meditate with all of you once again. Yeah, whether we are uh, having retreats or whether we are having uh, programs or not, doesn't matter, I know. You do your practice wherever you are. Your practice is not depending on me or Nilambe. Uh, that's I know very well as well. But uh, it's good that time to time, time to time, uh, we are meeting together and we are sitting together, meditating together, and maybe sharing some Dhamma, some experiences with each other. That's the fuel, fuel, gasoline for this journey. To accelerate our journey, to make the journey comfortable. With this uh, background, we can start today program. 
first uh, let me express my sincere gratitude towards our dear friends uh, Ma to organize this retreat and also Claudia uh, and all the other friends like uh, Birgit and uh, who are uh, organizing and involving to organize this retreat. Also, uh, I think uh, our big brother, Paul, he will be coming to this retreat specially for the, for the last item of this today retreat uh, for the discussion. Can you hear me because of the rain? Even I couldn't hear my voice. I'm good. Good. <laughs> then, uh, dear friends, let us begin this uh, retreat uh, with uh, group meditation. I think that's the first item of this uh, group activity today. Uh, am I correct, uh, dear Ma? Good. Good. Yeah, let us uh, let us do some uh, group meditation together now. Do we know, do we know what does our mind expect from this retreat? Are we aware about hidden expectations of today's retreat? Are we aware on why we are here? Why we are participating to this retreat? Let us make sure about those expectations, whatever, whatever expectation doesn't matter, but let us make sure about them. Thank you. 
It is, it is good if this retreat fulfills all of those my expectations. How nice, how fortunate. But who knows what is going to happen? Nobody knows. Can we open ourselves for whatever, whatever result, whatever benefit or no benefit, no results? Let's see how far we can maintain this open awareness.
वी में ही है लॉट ऑफ साउंड्स साउंड ऑफ रेन साउंड ऑफ ट्री विन Each sound helps us to stay here and now, be in the present, here and now. Therefore. can we feel every single sound as a spiritual pain as a spiritual guide spiritual support
at the same time a lot of thinkings are going on in our head or in our mind about about the meditation about nilambi about our life about others about the past and about the future They also check how much awareness that we are having, we are maintaining. Each thought is doing some test, some examination to measure our awareness, our mindfulness. How much mindfulness we have to recognize thoughts, to know what thought is here, to understand they are just thoughts, no need to make any stories out of them. In this way, each thought is doing some kind of examination of our mindfulness, of our awareness. What is the percentage of our mindfulness? What is the amount of awareness that we are having right now? Therefore, can we see thoughts as a spiritual inspectors, supervisors, monitors, and a spiritual observers they are observing our awareness they want to know are we aware are we mindful on them there is a mutual observation the mutual observation is going on. We observe them and they observe us. Our awareness is observing them and they are observing our awareness. Can we enjoy this mutual observation?
at the same time the breath is also checking our awareness and mindfulness the breath wants to know this that are we in the present are we here and now can we feel every single in breath and every single out breath Again, we observe the breath and the breath observes us. A mutual relationship in between awareness and the breath and in between the breath and our awareness.
sometimes all of them are together. Observing us, are we meditating or not? All the sounds, all the thoughts, together with the breath. They are looking at us to know whether we are meditating or not, whether we are in the present or not. My dear friends, we already know this. The gong, the bell, the sensei, that's the meditation is over. That is not the sign or symbol of this or message of this gong, the bell. So, a uh, unmindful mind may think, uh, now the meditation is over. I don't have to make any effort to maintain mindfulness, awareness. I am free now. But we can see that thought pattern. We can see that. Uh, thinking pattern, but we don't take it so seriously. 
now according to the timetable now the most uh, interesting time of this retreat yoga uh, i know all of you are waiting for this yoga session mindful yoga so let's see how much awareness mindfulness that we can maintain uh, throughout the yoga to watch our happiness and joy and also after the yoga meal time each food and each taste of the food are testing us that we are having meals mindfully or not so we are also uh, observing what kind of taste that we are experiencing at the same time each taste each sensation is also doing its own research on us so it looks like uh, everywhere cctv cameras just imagine even in your own home in your living room in your washroom in the kitchen dining room in the garden cctv cameras are there no one can see but only uh, <clears throat> camera itself camera themselves observe us so if cameras are there in everywhere then how we behave how we eat how we cook how we walk so let us imagine this no one is observing no one is uh, using those cameras to look at us only camera cameras themselves that's all and dear friends if we do this uh, practice throughout the yoga and throughout the meal time only then we can meet again for the next group meditation session with uh, more meditative minds thank you very much and enjoy enjoy the yoga with our yoga teacher mark